بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم إلى الدرس السادس عشر السادس عشر Welcome to lesson 16 In this lesson we will learn about جمع غير عاقل جمع غير عاقل The irrational plural The irrational plural well, what is that? We're going to see and we're going to come to learn about it uh, in the, um, within, towards the end of the video. Before we do that, however, we must recap some of the uh, older material and tie it into the new lesson. So if you remembered, we learned the asma'u lishara, okay, the demonstrative pronouns, such as hada, hadihi, haulai. And we said that lil qarib. Qarib means close. For someone that is close, we would say, this is such and such, and these are such and such, right? So the mudhakkar, the masculine, the mu'annath, feminine, we have the singular and we have the plurals here. So if we want to use the word talib as an example, student, we say this is a student, هذا طالب. And we say, هذه طالبة. Okay? Why did we switch? Because one is masculine, one is feminine. This is a student, this is a student, but hadha and hadhi are used. Okay? Hadha talibun, hadhi talibatun. When we pluralize talib, it becomes tullabun. So if we want to say these are students, haulai tullabun. Haulai tullabun. When we pluralize talibatun, it becomes talibatun, the jammu and the salim. Haulai talibatun. Haulai talibatun. These are students. So we have learned that already. There's nothing new there. Now let's go to the Asma'ul Isharati Lil Ba'id. So the Asma'ul Isharati Lil Ba'id, Lil Ba'id, something that is far, we will say that is or those are. For Al Mudakar and Al Mu'annath. Al Mudakar. Let's say student, male student. We say, ذَلِكَ طَالِبٌ ذَلِكَ طَالِبٌ Okay? That is a student. Then we would say, تِلْكَ طَالِبَةٌ تِلْكَ طَالِبَةٌ Okay? That is a student, but that is a female student. So we use تِلْكَ because تِلْكَ is مُعَنَّث and ذَلِكَ was مُذَكَّر When we pluralize طَالِب and it becomes طُلَّابٌ it becomes Ula'ika tullabun. Those are students. When we pluralize talibatun and it becomes talibatun, we would say Ula'ika talibatun. Ula'ika talibatun. That is nothing new. We've learned that. However, let's go to other words. Let's pluralize words that are different. Here, we're going to take the words. House and the word watch. Baytun and sa'atun. Baytun, sa'atun. Okay? And we're going to pluralize it and we're going to put an ismu lishara in front of it. Demonstrative pronoun. Lil qarib, again, for something that is close, so we'll say this and these, right? For the mudakkar, the word bayt is mudakkar. Isn't that so? Yes. So we would say, hadha baytun. Hada baytun. This is a house. Hada baytun. If we use a feminine word like sa'atun, a watch, we would say hadihi sa'atun. Hadihi sa'atun. Hadihi sa'atun. When we pluralize bayt, it becomes buyut. And sa'atun becomes sa'at. Bayt is buyut. Buyut is a jamu taksir, broken plural. Sa'atun is sa'at jammu an salim So these are houses becomes hadihi buyutun hadihi buyutun and these are watches hadihi sa'atun hadihi sa'atun Now contemplate on that look at it does it look strange to you well you should say yes because we learned in the previous lesson that we, we say haulai means these. How come we're using hadhi and hadhi again to, to, to mean the, these? 
The reason is that these words, bait and sa'atun, are words that are irrational. They are isms, uh, they are nouns, or asma, and they are irrational. Irrational meaning it does not have intelligence. It's irrational. When we compared it, these two words, to the word talib and talibah, and tulab and talibat, students, students are rational beings, they're human beings. So here we use haulai in the plural form, but things that are irrational, like houses and watches, we don't use haulai. We use hadihi. We use the feminine singular. The feminine singular. Here we go. Singular, right? Mufrad. We have two. We have hadha and hadi. They're both singular. Which one is feminine? Hadihi is feminine. So if we want to say these are houses, we say hadihi buyutun. If you want to say these are watches, hadihi sa'atun. These are watches. Why? Because these words are plural, they're jam, غَيْرُ aqil, And they do not have intelligence, or they are irrational. A plural that is irrational, it is treated as though it is feminine singular. It is treated as though it is feminine singular. So the feminine singular of these two words is, well they're both singular, the feminine is, هَذِهِ the feminine singular ismul ishara is hadihi. So we would say hadihi buyutun, hadihi sa'atun. These are houses, these are watches. Now, lil ba'id. Al ismul ishara lil ba'id. Now, lil ba'id for that which is far, we say those are and that is, right? Mudakkar and wannath, the masculine and the feminine. Again, the word house. ذَلِكَ بَيْتٌ That is a house. تِلْكَ سَعَةٌ That is a watch. That is, uh, that is normal. That follows the rules that we've learned so far. However, when we pluralize بَيْت and it becomes بُيُوت and سَعَةٌ becomes سَعَات we say تِلْكَ بُيُوتٌ Those are houses. And we say تِلْكَ سَعَاتٌ Those are watches. So these two are abnormal. This is where the jam غير aqil appears. These two words this one and this one they're jam غير aqil. They're plural and they're irrational. Plural irrational nouns are treated as feminine singular. Mufrad muannas. Similarly these two that we just learned, okay, buyut and sa'at are treated as feminine singular. So by now, we should have a basic idea of what jam ghayru aqil is. In the next video, inshallah, we'll do many examples. Hopefully it becomes clearer to you.